Today, we're answering the question, how do I use Azure DevOps completed and remaining work fields with 7Pace Time Tracker? The remaining work field from DevOps helps keep your burndown organized and is used by 7Pace Time Tracker to automatically update time left on a particular work item based on the time that you track for it. 7Pace Time Tracker uses the completed work field from DevOps to display the completed hours for a work item. But first, you need to enable this feature from within 7Pace Time Tracker settings. Select Work Item Automation. And here you can control the integration of 7Pace Time Tracker with the time management capabilities of DevOps. Under estimated remaining time, make sure that the enable automatic reduction of remaining time for a work item field is checked. This will now allow 7Pace Time Tracker to automatically reduce the value in the remaining time field on your work item form. You'll see a drop down list that includes all fields from the DevOps work item template that can be used for this feature and any custom fields you may have added for your team. We recommend using remaining work. This field is fully writable by users, so it can be manually adjusted at any time. Under completed work, ensure that enable filling in total track time for a work item field is checked. 7Pace Time Tracker will now automatically update the completed work field. You'll also see a drop down list that includes all fields from the DevOps work item template, as well as any custom fields you may have added. We recommend using completed work. The completed work field on a work item allows you to manually add, edit, or delete time directly in the field. If you track time on a work item, then the completed work field automatically updates and is recalculated each time with the total time that is tracked or added for that work item by all your team members. Please note that before you configure completed work here in Time Tracker settings, if the corresponding DevOps field already contains a value, then Time Tracker will override that value and keep updating the field based on your tracking and manual time adjustment. There is no option to prevent overriding the original value in this field. So that's just something to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that these settings are per project. So if you want to apply them to other projects that you have on the go, just click on apply and copy to other projects and you can cherry pick which ones you want to copy these settings to. I'm just going to click apply in this case. So now let's go to a DevOps work item. When I open up this task, you can see the, S the remaining work and completed work fields here. So let's say that I'm going to work on this particular task for two hours. I'm going to save and close. And now I'm gonna start tracking on this. So when I start tracking on this work item, the remaining time field will automatically get updated as well the completed work field. I also want to quickly add that in order to make these fields work, the cloud-based version of 7Pace Time Tracker must be authorized in DevOps services. And in the on-premise version of 7Pace Time Tracker for DevOps server, a valid service account must be set up. Okay, so now if we stop tracking, And stop tracking. And I'm going to open the work item again. You can see that the remaining time and completed work fields have updated automatically. Now you'll notice that the completed work field has a bit more time on it than what I just tracked. And that's because any time that I've previously tracked on this work item will appear here in the completed work. 